This is the control deck from the 1.1 from the previous video where I replaced the broken marquee with the video CD and replaced this deck with the Gamer Pro. But I want to fix this deck. I want to keep it as a backup or for a different project. The main problem with this deck is the power switch won't stay locked. Let me show you. See, it won't stay locked down. It won't latch at all. So I end up ordering a few different switches. This one being the closest that I could find visually anyway. I got it from Amazon. And the power symbol itself is molded as part of the new button. Versus the old button where like it's painted on. But I'm hoping it's close enough where I can just use it. Go ahead and focus. So I'm going to go ahead and get it swapped out. And hopefully this deck will be working. Uh, if not, I guess I have to keep my search going on for a replacement button. Or just go ahead and contact At Games and see if they're willing to send me a new button for this one. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom off. Get everything taken apart and get the new switch in there and go from there. And hopefully it'll be good. I'll disconnect my wires for the pinball buttons, both sides. I'm gonna unplug the wires from the power switch and then I'm gonna unscrew them out and take it out. Get these retainer clips for the power switch. I'm just gonna push it in on both sides and I can pop the power switch out. And this new switch is slightly bigger. It looked like it might be a couple of millimeters too wide. Then these flat edges. I don't want to deal with filing down these flat edges either. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. I'll see what needs to be popped back in place or bent back in place and hopefully get it working. If not, I'll probably take some parts off this one to fix the original button and hopefully have a working button. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. The little metal clip that locks it is missing. And I don't see it stuck inside the button anywhere. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't sold this way. Unless it fell out when I took it apart and I just didn't notice. I'm supposed to go up in this track here. Uh, it goes up, locks in the top there, and back down when you turn the switch off.
I'm just gonna take apart the other switch and take the metal clip out of that one. This metal latching clip is what's missing from the old button. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take from this one. This is the metal clip I need right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put into the old switch. Okay, bent the metal clip out just a tad bit. I think it should be good. Yep, it's slid right in the track and it's latching now. So I think this button should be fixed. I'm gonna put this outer spring back in and put the button back together. Reconnect my power button wires. Now to install it and test everything out. And this switch is fixed. Okay, I plan on installing the Gamer Pro back into this machine and probably use this deck on a future project. Uh, probably a pesto with the Gamer Core. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel to help me grow. Stay tuned for future repairs and future mods. And I will see you on the next video.